I'm not sure if it's the machine or the blade. Probably the blade. I tried cutting one sheet at a time, but still doesn't want to cut straight. Just gonna finish this cut and get a handsaw and just cut a little bit more off. That way I can get somewhat of a straight edge, at least. Guess we're gonna have to rely on some good old elbow grease for this one. Didn't have to be super straight, but that last cut was not good. It got pretty wonky. We we'll cut off one centimeter. Right about there. There we go. Nice and straight. Go ahead and put this spare board back here. Then I'll be able to square them against it. We want this floating shelf to be two meter long, but we couldn't really fit the long, like two and a half meter boards in the car. So that's why we're gluing these shorter ones together instead. We'll use this case oh, filled with weights. We'll use these to even out the pressure even more. This will be the front panel. Just quickly gonna replace these clamps with some screws here so I can attach this front panel to the top while the glue is drying. Perfect, let's get some glue. 
So it's time to install what's gonna carry the whole thing. It's a simple shelving system, pretty common here in Sweden at least. I'm gonna use four spaced out along these two meters. I just need to cut them into the appropriate size and then you just hook these in and you're good to go. Place the uh, whatever shelf you have on top. Should probably wear a mask. I should have had the vacuum nearby, huh? I'm not really sure why I did not have the vacuum nearby. I completely forgot to make a second hole. So we'll do that now real quick. Just gonna eyeball the middle here. Seems about right. There we go. Since Sandra is not here to help me, I made this little contraption, a little dust collector. Put the bore right here, stick it to the wall, hooked up to the vacuum, and hopefully this will collect all the dust. There's still a hole up here, which helps give some draft towards the bottom. This is the keeper. I use the rest of these scraps to uh, make some storage inside the shell. Okay, let's put some plaster on it. Brought some different tools here to make textures, sponge, some smashed up plastic, a roller that we hot glued, so we get some dents in there, see if that works.
Okay, so we found a few different techniques that we liked to make the texture just a little bit too thin still. We're gonna let this dry now and then add a second layer on there before we finish it up and add the paint. So the second layer is now done and we think we're happy with it. It's really hard to tell when it's just completely white. So now we're just gonna sand it real quick before we add some color on there. It really takes just a couple of strokes and it's a huge difference right away. We're gonna go a little bit more aggressive with the color this time. It seems like the color is a lot less intense once it's dry. It looks a lot darker when it's wet, so see how that works out. Okay, there it is. The secret little storage area here is now hooked up and ready to go. We got the Nintendo here, the little media outlet to the TV, and on this side we've got the controllers and then some other accessories over there. So now let's see how it looks in the room. 